This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Mech Tech Human Alliance or Basic Human Alliance half track with major altitude. The figure is part of the third wave of the Basic Human Alliance series uh, from the Dark of the Moon toy line. Uh, start with the packaging, as you can see. Basic, basic packaging. Right there. Um, yeah, get rid of it. The set is a direct repaint of the Sandstorm set, uh, except for this figure. This figure, I think, is a new sculpt. I haven't actually seen it before. I could be wrong, but it looks pretty new to me. I haven't seen him anywhere else. I'm sure they're going to repaint that somewhere along the line. Major altitude. Let's start with this figure. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's a lot thicker and bigger than most of the other figures uh, for obvious reasons because he's wearing a spacesuit. And uh, half track is supposed to be a moon vehicle or a moon buggy, uh, which they use on the moon. That's what the bio said. Um, lunar for lunar expeditions. Yeah, right. So base, uh, it's just a direct. Re the figure is a direct repaint of Sandstorm, and with, with uh, the the set with Sandstorm and Deadcliff. Uh, but uh, as many of you know, I'm a big fan of this particular mold, and it is no uh, is probably going to be no mystery to you guys why I actually bought a repaint uh, of the mold. Uh, and also, I'm a sucker for repaints. I got this one off at 30% uh, clearance on retail. Uh, maybe I should have waited longer, but I just couldn't wait. I've been meaning to get this one, just I didn't want to pay regular price for another repaint. Uh, but it took me a while to get one with decent paint apps, but I'm pretty glad I did. All right, let's start with the paint apps. Paint apps are very good. Not as good as the Sandstorm set, but if you are looking for this one, you see a couple on the shelves, make sure you pick one out that has a well-painted head. Uh, uh, this head. Um, uh, and uh, what am I saying? Whatever. The, make sure that the uh, turquoise blue does not overlap in any part of his face, and the silver is painted fine. Then the... Um, the uh, I was about to say something else, but I'm going to say uh, the headlamps on his chest um, are are painted very well, should be painted very well, and then the white on his knee pads and thighs should be painted very well. Other than that, everything else seems to be fine because those are the only paint apps. Oh, uh, that as well. All right, uh, he comes with a gun. Uh, which you can clip on to any of the bars, roll bars, or bars from the roll cage. Uh, just like that and turn it into a uh, shoulder mounted weapon or, of sorts. You can also store store it here I think. Yep, and store it at the back. So pretty cool. It's on a ball joint on a clip, 3mm clip. It's got all the basic articulation as uh, uh, Sandstorm did. Ball joints everywhere. Uh, this one's a hinge joint. No thigh swivel though and a ball jointed ankle. And the ankle is really what gives which allows him uh, a lot of these dynamic poses, which I'm really such a big fan of. And even as a uh, waist swivel because of transformation. So, very, very cool. I like it. I really like it. Uh, I'm not going to show the weapon mode. The weapon mode essentially is... Okay. Never happened before. Anyway, weapon mode is just a, a mode where uh, you have these uh, weapons showing off. You have those guns, and then uh, it's they're sort of like a seat. Uh, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Something like that, and you sit the figure back up here, like that. Uh, I don't want to go through the whole transformation, but you know what I mean. Something like that, uh, and then these are the handlebars. And I'm not a big fan of this the weapon mode, really. So uh, we're not going to get into it. Uh, it's fine, if you ask me, but not not super great. Uh, what we will get into is transforming him into his lunar buggy, uh, which is pretty cool. So to do that, what you want to do is, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, fold down the. This is this will form the seat. Uh, go ahead and rotate the waist piece. Fold up the feet. All right, fold down the feet and uh, join the feet together, the legs together, something like that. 
um, you're supposed to fit the seats on the pegs on the seat onto the peg holes right there I haven't actually had a chance to do it properly several times I've practiced doing this it always just keeps popping off uh, one of the drawbacks of this figure but it's fine you can sort of shoot it like that okay that these will just rest here uh, I think they should peg uh, never been able to do to do it um, but yeah the instructions don't say otherwise or anything they just let it lie there okay then uh, go ahead and fold this one to cover the head top roll bar go ahead and uh, tab it in come on now what is wrong okay all right like that Um, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe you should put, um, what's his name, ha um, major altitude in the seat before you really tab it in, because it's, it's pretty hard to put him in with a roll bar, roll cage on. So he's got this big, big body. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, then fold the arms back, just like that, and tab it in, fold it back, fold this, and then tab. And then lastly, the weapon, yeah, the weapon can go here, any, anywhere, actually, but uh, I prefer, I prefer here sorry I wanted it to be in the middle like that so there it is there is half track in his lunar buggy mode as you can see very very cool colors I'm really liking the color combination on the on this one and as you can see let me just focus on it he's got this Autobot nest logo an Autobot symbol with a beret on it it really says nest uh, I can't, I'm not sure if you guys can see the actual logo Okay, there we go. Pretty cool. Very, very nice. Well detailed. You can also, I think there's a way you can take a peek at the fi figure and packaging if the uh, Nest logo is painted very well. It would be difficult, but you can, you can try it out and see. All right. And as a bit of a size comparison, here is Dead Cliff and uh, Sandstorm. So very, very cool sets. Uh, I'm really, really like If you ask me which one's better, I say pick both. You get two different figures, two really, really awesome paint apps. Oh, okay. Sorry. I've made a mistake on, on the, uh, where the, this thing pegs. So apparently the seat does not peg into that. It's, it's the handlebars that the two peg in. So my mistake. Uh-huh. All right, let me do it again. Sorry, I knew I knew I was doing something wrong. Okay, all right, all right. Eh, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, go ahead and peg uh, this guy's back in. All right, like that, and then uh, just go ahead and fold. Yeah, it's still fine. I mean, either way, you can peg the seat in, you can peg the roll bars in. Doesn't it won't really matter. Uh, in my opinion, yeah, it'll still uh, have the same feel. I think he rolls better if you peg the seat in instead of the roll bars. All right. Yeah, definitely. Definitely if you peg in the seat, he'll roll better. But anyway, whatever. I think the instructions say to peg the... Uh, the roll cage. Anyway, um, so that's that. Very, very cool. Uh, I say pick them both, but if you have to decide, if you have only, if you have budget only for one set and you don't like repaints, I say pick this one uh, over this one. This looks a lot more like a military vehicle. This one is really just for fun. Um, but but both are very good and well done, well executed. I'm, I'm a big fan of these molds, and you know Hasbro really did a good one on on, on these sets. 
So there you go, folks. Uh, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, the basic human alliance, half track with major altitude. If you like this video, uh, like the way I reviewed it, please don't forget to add this figure, uh, this figure, this video to your favorites, or click the thumbs up uh, symbol uh, or icon uh, at the bottom. Uh, if you want to know my latest toy, latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, uh, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash fxfriends. I most uh, frequently update it as regularly as I can. If I get something new, I'm going to be updating it as soon as possible. There you go, folks. Uh, thanks for watching.